Nobody likes doing chain maintenance, but cleaning and lubing your chain isn't that hard and it'll help ensure you get the most mileage out of your drive chain. I'll show you the right way to do it in this video from the MC Garage. First things first, when should you lubricate your drivetrain? Your manual likely lists a service interval, but that's really more just a suggestion. Here's my rule of thumb. Lubricate your drivetrain anytime it needs it, which is to say anytime it looks or sounds dry. If your drivetrain sounds like this, it's a sure sign that it needs some TLC. The next big question is, what chain lube should I use? There's a lot of options out there and a lot of really strong opinions on the subject, but the truth is, different chain lubes are going to work well in different environments. So if you ride in the rainy, wet Pacific Northwest, you're gonna need a different chain lube than some guy riding in dry, dusty Arizona. Okay, so to give your drivetrain some love, you're gonna need some supplies. You're gonna need some rags, a can of O-ring safe chain cleaner or kerosene, an old toothbrush or a chain specific cleaning brush, a rear stand, some chain lube, a piece of cardboard, and some latex gloves just to keep your hands clean. First up, put your bike up on its center stand or on a rear stand. You can tend to your chain on the bike side stand a section at a time, but getting the rear wheel off the ground is gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, if your chain is dirty, you're gonna to wanna to clean it before lubricating it. If it's not too nasty, you can go spraying some cleaner on a clean rag and wiping the chain down. But if it's really grimy, you should douse the chain in cleaner and then scrub it gently with a brush and then rinse it with a hose. In either case, also take the time to wipe the crud off your rear sprocket. There are lots of brush devices on the market, but I prefer the 360 brush from Tyrox. It's cheap, easy to use, and very effective. Once you've got your chain clean, it's time to apply some fresh lubricant. Just to be really clear, this is the part of the chain that we're lubricating, the overlapping portions of the links on the lower rung. Spin the wheel with your right hand and lube the inside links for one revolution of the chain, then do one pass on the outside links. Just in case you're thinking that it'd be pretty easy to lubricate the chain with a bike running it in gear, don't. Besides the very real possibility of losing a finger, the chain's gonna bounce around and it's gonna be really hard to apply the lube evenly. Once you've applied the lube, give it a moment to set up and then wipe off the excess. Applying too much lubricant will make a mess of your rim and your undertail and it'll also attract dirt and grime. And the truth is, your chain doesn't need to be doused in oil because the stuff that's most susceptible to wear is already bathed in grease and sealed with rubber o-rings. Pretty much all modern chains are sealed like the section I have disassembled here, meaning they use some style of rubber o-ring or x-ring between the side plates to seal in grease. These are the side plates, these are the o-rings, these are the pins, and this is a bushing and a roller. So when you're spraying lube on your chain, all you're really looking to do is keep those O-rings moist and happy and lubricate the rollers. Now, if your sprocket teeth are thin and curved or your chain is rusty and kinked, you probably need to replace them. No amount of lube is going to restore worn parts, but we'll cover chain and sprocket replacement in another video. So check back later. In the meantime, go lube your chain.